Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to play Tiny Witch. Uh, thanks to your future friends for giving me a code. And yeah, we're going to give it a go. But I wanted to read something for you uh, about the game first before we uh, start. So in Tiny Witch, you are a little witch who unfortunately keeps buying stores that come with a curse. To break the curse, she must run each store situated in towns full of dungeon masters for 10 days. Activate spells, unlock new recipes, and prepare the best minions in time to become the ultimate shop manager. Activate spells, unlock new recipes, and prepare the best minions in time to become the ult ultimate shop manager. Sounds fun, right? We're gonna give it a go. Again, thank you so much to future friends for uh, giving me a code. And uh, let's get into it. Once upon a time, in the land of magic and enchantments, there was a little witch named Sophie who loved crafting minions with great care. Her biggest dream was to have a little shop to sell them to all the dungeon lords in the kingdom. However, she couldn't speak and everyone she met underestimated her. One day, a mysterious cat appeared, offering a deal to have her own little shop of minions. Excited, she signed the contract without a second thought, and thus her journey began. Cute. Hello, welcome to your new minion store. I am Whisker Hermes. Herm Hermes? <laughs> Whisker. As you may have read in the contract, our stores are cursed and you cannot leave. You need to reach 10 day sales goals in each of the stores to break the curse in each one and make a good profit. I will help you serve your customers well and manage the store. Let's get started. Each work that you will serve customers and receive a payment for each order delivered. Your daily sales goal will always appear on this screen at the beginning of each day. So goal 100. Interact with the owl bell to open your store and allow customers to enter. We got our first customer. You see that customer asking for a ghost? Let's prepare it quickly. Go to the tree trunk and click uh, enter to collect our basic ingredients, Stardust. Now take the Stardust to the cauldron and put it inside. Take another Stardust and put it in the other cauldron. Okay, so you see on the candle it goes down. That's the time for it. There we go. Now we have a soul fragment. Bring it to the work table here on the left. To make a ghost, we need two soul fragments. Get the second one and bring it to the table as well. Now just click on the craft button to complete the recipe. And then we can give it to the customer. There you go, now you know the basics. Good luck on your first day. So he wants a ghost too. Oh, that's all we can do right now anyways. But... Okay, we're trying. 
Can we get to 100 though? This day, or do we need to uh, do a couple? I don't think I'm gonna be able to uh, do all of them. Nope. We were almost there, you know. Well done. We have made good progress towards our sales goal, although we haven't reached it yet. Don't worry, we still have the night period to make some more profit. Did you know that many dungeon owners are nocturnal and prefer to buy minions at night? The night period is shorter but also more intense. Let's try to serve everyone. Oh, let me try. We're not gonna make it. <laughs> but we made the goal. So we got six ghosts done and we got eight times the tips. Day two, new learnings. Hello, good morning. Congratulations on achieving yesterday's sales goal. Today we will serve a new item on the store. Okay, do you see this new box here? This is a zombie. This is the recipe used to make it. We will need the second ingredient. Let's buy the kitchen utensil capable of creating it. Interact with the crystal ball to open my upgrade shop. Okay. select a rotten meat pestle and confirm to buy it. Okay. Okay. Great, now you can create rotten meat and make zombies with it. More items will be in available in my upgrade shop from time to time, so come back often. So you must place the soul fragment in it. After a while processing, it will return a rotten meat to you. Good luck. <laughs> Music is catchy though. Another one before you. 
My bad. again so nice shift I'm guessing have you noticed that satisfied customers often leave tips I'll explain how it works note the customers patience bar as they wait it shrinks and turns yellow then red and empty the higher his patience level is when you deliver your order the more coins he will leave as a tip but don't worry I know a special magic to keep their patience up when empty-handed, interacting with the customer lets you apologize for the delay in delivering your order. Okay. This regenerates their patience bar. Who knew politeness was the real magic? We got three ghosts, tips, we got seven coins, and then the zombie, we got three of. Nice, nice. Day three, beware. How was yesterday? Did you enjoy expanding the menu of minions? The little shop is off to a good start. We have more customers popping in to buy here. But be careful because when they get impatient waiting, they can attack you. Oh my gosh. They usually attack you when their patient bar turns yellow or empty. Try not to get hit. Also watch out for customers who come into the store angry. Their patient bar goes down pretty fast. Not only are they impatient, they also don't accept apologies. Good luck dealing with them. Thanks. Not impressed.
Oh no. He's not gonna accept it. Ah. first again. Looks like we're going to have leaks today. This keeps happening. These drips often create puddles that get in the way of your work, but don't worry. We have a broom over there in the corner of the store. Since you're there, you don't mind using it to clean up the mess, do you? Getting uh, intense. Okay, ghost for tip seven, zombie two. So we met our goal. There you go. What did you think? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. I enjoyed it. It's a nice time killer and it's pretty uh, straightforward. It's super cute and uh, yeah, I love it. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye guys.